Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can record with Copilot using my voice the actions in Power Automate for desktop. And here is just an example of what the finished flow looks like. As you can see in the bottom, it says AI generated. This is something that I would have to build manually step by step in the past. So I know, I know it sounds way too good to be true, but it actually works. So stick around because this is taking robotic process automation to a whole new level. But first, here's my intro video. So here I am in my Power Automate for desktop and the version number that you will need can be found over here. I click on the help, go to about, and that is the version number. Now, by the time you're watching this video, if there is something newer, go for that one as well, but you need at least this version. Because now when I click on close and I go to the home menu, you will see this enhancement functionality. And what we're gonna do over here is use the record with Copilot. Now, before I jump into demoing over there, let me at least talk about the scenario. Now, I have done a proof of concept actually for a small company where in that company during the holiday season, they manually take all of these UPS, United States Postal Service tracking numbers, put it on their website, which is right over here manually, just to get a status update. Now, I know, I know what some of you developers are thinking. It's like, Daniel, there is API systems that we can use and go and get all that information. Yes, all of that can be done. However, remember, this is a small, small mom and pop shop and they had an admin who was doing this manually and they don't have the flexibility to go ahead and build it from a developer standpoint at that automation. RPA was the only way for them to do it. So for this example, all I want to accomplish is literally just tell the co-pilot that, hey, take all of these tracking numbers and one by one put them over here in the UPS website just to get an update. Now, I'm not going to take it to the next level where I also go and extract the data and update on the spreadsheet. That's going to be a next level thing. If the co-pilot can automatically build me that flow to take those tracking numbers and paste it over here one by one, I would call this enhancement a full success. So that is what we are going to test. Now, let me show you how the whole process works. So here we go. In the Power Automate desktop, make sure that you've got the record with Copilot selected because it's also the describe. What we're going to do is use the record with Copilot. And now I'm going to click on start. Once I do that, a few things take place in the back end. First of all, we're going to actually see a pop up menu that will come up right over here. See, this is the recorder in preview. And what I'm going to say is new recording. Now, when the new recording comes, it is going to verify a few things first. It's going to actually say, hey, what is the microphone that you're using? So I'm actually going to go and change that to this microphone because that's the one that I'm using right now. Speaker is the default output, which is perfect. But I want to make sure that I actually have the correct screen because I got two screens. So it automatically went and selected this default one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select this one because that's actually the main screen. The one that you're seeing over here, that's the main screen. Make sure you select the correct screen. Very, very important. So next, when I click on this next button, you are going to hear the recorder narrate to us some steps. Since this is the first time we are doing it, it's best that we listen to it. But in the future, we are fine if we skip it. So here we go. Let me click on next. Speak normally and include details about what you're doing as you are doing it. Use your mouse and move between screens or apps like you normally would when completing the process manually. Keep your recording to five minutes or less. All right, three very, very important tips. First of all, speak normally and include details. Now this is where I had to actually learn a little bit because I was giving it way too much information and I just had to do my normal speaking which you will see in a minute. Um, use your mouse and move over between screens. Very, very important because I actually learned this from practice is that it does require some clicking in each of the screens. So when we are in this Excel spreadsheet, do a click over here. When we are in the browser, do at least one click over there. That is very important. And then finally, keep your recording to five minutes or less because let's face it, it has so much processing to do. Keep it a little short and it'll work from there on. So now that we understand what to do, let's do the recording. Click on record. Countdown began. 
and now it is listening. Take the data from this Excel spreadsheet and add it to this website. Add each item one by one and click on the track button. Looks good, click on done. And now it is analyzing my recording. So it is going ahead and taking all that information. Remember the one I kept it inside five minutes. It is analyzing the recording. It is analyzing the mouse movements, everything, all the stuff that we did. It is going in and analyzing it. And yes, it says less than five minutes remaining. This is where you've got to be patient because it doesn't take the entire five minutes, but it can take up to five minutes. So be patient and it will go ahead and generate that entire workflow for us. Okay, so it's completed and now a new screen actually opened up on the right side. So let me now go ahead and open it up and pull it over here. And this is the brand new workflow. See, I didn't even give it a name, it's called Untitled, but this is the brand new flow that it automatically went and generated. And see, like I showed you in the introduction, this is the start of the AI generated actions and this is the closing of it. But let's take a look, right? It goes ahead and uses that Excel spreadsheet, the one that I showed you then it is going ahead and reading from Excel spreadsheet line by line. See, that's why it has a for each, for each row in Excel data. But what does it do in the for each? It will go ahead and populate text on that website, that UPS website. But remember, I didn't tell it what the text, the AI is what understood that, oh, it's going and getting some tracking numbers, that tracking numbers are the specific column. So it automatically gonna grab that, and then it'll go ahead and do an end, and then goes through this loop till all of it is gotten. So. What I want to do is first go ahead and save this and then we'll go ahead and do a run and maybe come back and tweak it a little bit as well. So here we go. I'm going to go and do a run. It launches it, goes ahead and gets that one item, puts it directly over here, the tracking number, clicks on the track and then it goes and grabs this info and then it shows me the information. Perfect. After that, it comes back to this next step over here. You see it's going on, it is going to go and do a populate of a text and that is what's not working. Why? Because we've already gone ahead and populated once and now that website is no longer available for me to put that tracking one. So there is a slight, a very slight flaw in this design, but hey, can you see what all it did? It went in and did like 95% of the work. So Daniel, what is that one thing that we have to fix? That's a very simple thing. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this one. And you see this section which is launched the new Microsoft Edge browser. It is outside the for each loop. Let me go ahead and grab that and put it down over here. Inside the for each, let me also take this comment and put it over here just so that the future me knows what's going on. That is it. That's the only thing. I'm not even adding a new action. I am just going and manipulating the actual location of this action. Let's go ahead and save this again now we'll go ahead and do another run and let's see what happens. So I'll click on run. It is going to have the Excel spreadsheet. Now it will launch a new browser. It takes the tracking number, puts it over here, goes ahead and clicks on that track button and we should be able to see some information. That is it. But hey, now it opened up another launch. Why? Because the launch action, action is inside the for each. Goes ahead and does that over here. Same thing, got another uh, tracking number, put it in. Here's the third time. The third tracking number puts it in successfully, tracks it, and all the information is shown up over here. It will keep doing this till all the rows in that spreadsheet is met. Now in the future, I'll put some enhancements over here. I'll go and actually extract this data, put it back in the spreadsheet. I'll challenge AI Copilot to do that in the future. But however, right now on the first shot, this is fantastic. Entire action automatically done for something I used to do that manually in the past. So there you go, the whole thing is finished, all right? I'll just go ahead and close all of these windows because I don't need them. Uh, let me just X, X, close, close, close. And as you can see on the bottom, the status is good. It ran successfully. I am super impressed by how AI went ahead and generated all of these things. Pretty fancy and remember, it wasn't completely perfect on the get-go. But remember, it wasn't 100% perfect, but hey, it had all the right actions. All that you and I did was drag and drop it from outside to inside the for each loop, and then it ran successfully. I am super stoked about this enhancement. So in conclusion, I wanna show you this LinkedIn post made by Joe Fernandez. Joe is the product manager at Microsoft, focusing primarily on the RPA system in Power Automate for desktop. 
Couple of things Joe says that this feature is currently in public preview. So definitely test it, play with it. And if you are interested, go ahead and click on this link and use this Microsoft form to give him some feedback. All it takes is just these four little questions. You want to go ahead and have a call, just provide him our information and he'll be happy to reach out to you. Also keep something in mind is that this is currently only available for all the environments in US. So it's not available for environments in any other regions. Just keep that in mind. But hopefully this gets you excited just by the demo I showed you. Something that I had to manually build and figure it out is automatically done by the copilot just by my voice and recording it. That is mind blowing. I am excited to see how you are going to test and leverage this for your day to day activities. So keep using Power Automate for desktop made much easier using the Copilot recorder. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.